There has certainly been some outstanding as well as negative points for Dreams since it launched in February of 2020, an absence of online multiplayer being one of the core features yet to be implemented. But one thing I must stress is that there are some absolute gems that have been released by the community in 2020, which is what we'll be looking over today. Hey, welcome to Little Big Animation. We are all about creating inspiring video games and animations to unleash your imagination so you can realise your own creative dreams and share those with the world. First of all, it has to be said that all of the dreams included in this video are my personal favourites narrowed down to keep the video as concise as possible. There's plenty more amazing creations which I didn't include, so this is by no means a complete representation of what's available in dreams. I decided to focus predominantly on original creations but there are a few based on existing franchises near the end of the video. So without further ado, let's jump into it. I'm going to start off with what I voted for as my dream of the year. Yuri the Sacred Bells is a full survival horror game which takes heavy inspiration from titles such as Fatal Frame and Kuon. You'll explore a creepy mountainous area in Japan searching for your loved one what you'll actually find are a bunch of ghosts, which must be defeated with the use of magical bells. It has all the staples of a survival horror game, tank controls, fixed camera, item and document collection. This is a special achievement and deserves as much support as you can give. Lock is a game which will most certainly fry your brain, to put it mildly. The game highly recommends that you have a notepad handy as well as access to the internet. There is absolutely no hand-holding here, ensuring that only the truly dedicated will prevail. I'm not one for dedicated puzzle games, preferring games which add light puzzle elements, but I can safely say that based on the live streams and playthroughs I've watched of this game, it's one to rave about, and anyone who loves intense puzzles shouldn't miss out. I think it's safe to say that Pig Detective 3 was one of the most highly anticipated games of the year, Coming off the back of a greatly successful sequel, the third game takes everything to the next level. The game sports some attractive graphics, superb attention to detail and a stellar voice cast, giving each interaction and character a personality of its own. A point and click style adventure awaits you as you investigate and solve minor puzzles to uncover the mystery of Detox Island. Instead of discussing them separately, I've compiled the Water Gardens and the sequel, The Snow Gardens, together, as they both deserve the spotlight. Who knew that simplicity could be so beautiful? Both games task you with exploring a series of islands, as you solve some minor puzzles surrounding various shapes. It's such a peaceful journey, and it's hard not to agree that these could easily have been mistaken for a game outside of dreams, with its unique art style and indie game feel definitely one to relax to. Cyber Trigger has to be one of the very best 2D pixelated games available in Dreams. I'm not entirely sure if this was created with the pixel jam in mind, one of the best jams yet in my opinion, as it opened the door to so many new types of Dreams. But either way, I'm glad it's here and it's one of my favourites. Dreams isn't predominantly known for its 2D creations, it's notably a 3D engine at heart, which just goes to show how much extra effort went into ensuring that this was made so perfectly. Okay, this one isn't a game, but I had to include it on the list as it is arguably the best film in the Dreamiverse. Rabbit and Boy doesn't have as much competition in the film categories as there aren't quite as many, but that takes nothing away from how expertly crafted it is from start to finish. There isn't too much dialogue in the film, instead focusing on just how incredible the animation is. Each character comes to life so vividly, and it proves that dreams can be taken seriously as an animation tool, whether that's used for film or game. If you're a fan of scrolling beat-em-ups, including classics such as Streets of Rage and Golden Axe, then look no further than Red. Fight your way through a city of goons who have been infected with some sort of virus. There are plenty of stages to make your way through, including a pretty eye-catching boss battle and a motorbike chase. This is the kind of game which I'm looking forward to playing in co-op once online multiplayer hits dreams in the hopefully near future. Back to some puzzling puzzles, we have a little perspective. This screams PSN. Another which could easily be mistaken for a game outside of dreams. 
You are tasked with moving a cube around a grid to reach the exit. The catch is that you can rotate the scene, creating new perspectives which allow you to form new routes. Think Echochrome from the good old PSP but with cubes. There are numerous stages to wrap your head around as well as some approved bonus stages created by the community. Did someone say Astrobot? If you didn't know about the original VR version, you probably know about the new PS5 Astro's Playroom. You can see that Super Great Job Human clearly takes inspiration from Astrobot, but at the same time, it also plays around with the same themes from Astro's Playroom with obsolete technology, which could be a massive coincidence since this stream entry was released many months prior. Either way, it's an innovative 3D platformer with quite a few secrets to discover and collect. But the best platformer of the year has to go to Funky Bones 4, a direct continuation of the trilogy from LBP, now with full 3D movement and playable character advancements. The game is stunning, recreating a Day of the Dead theme to near perfection. The game does feel like LBP at heart, with the use of raw materials and bits and bobs to string it all together. The character controls really well, which seems to take note from another Media Molecule game in Terraway. The entire experience all supports local co-op, which is a nice touch. Some wacky cartoon action now with Ethan goes to work. It's difficult to describe what kind of game this would be outside of Dreams, as it feels very much like a style unique to Dreams. I would class this as an on-rails action adventure, which tells its story in a short, compact style. Definitely fun whilst it lasts, and the colourful aesthetics and imaginative world make it stand out amongst the rest. It's also entirely voiced in Spanish, which adds an extra level of flavour. As far as I'm concerned, this is the best FPS game in Dreams to date. Not only are the controls and various guns a joy to play around with, but the amount of differing enemies and environmental craft that has gone into this sets it apart from all the shooting galleries we so commonly see in Dreams. The game has its own lightly glazed story, as well as some funny moments. You can tell it has been greatly influenced by the latest Doom reboots, and whilst we can't directly compare anything made by a solo Dreams dev, we can see the potential and realise that games of this quality are already possible. Beat Runner is both fun and a little infuriating. That doesn't make it any less of a great game however. If anyone can remember the impossible game, where you controlled a square which jumped over various hazards in time with some fast paced music when death resulted in restarting from the beginning of the stage. It wasn't called the impossible game for nothing. This is basically the dreams version, but with added complexities. In addition to jumping, you also have three different coloured bounce pads which activate with different inputs, speed boosts and spots which allow jumps in mid-air, a perfect example of how a high score challenge can work. Time for some top-down shooter action with Cobra Strike. Take control of one of three ships as you gun and rocket your way through a small variety of missions whilst avoiding a barrage of fire yourself. Another game which is fully voiced giving mission briefings and other developments. As with the previous Water Gardens, this too has a sequel which does more of the same but with improvements, so if you enjoy this then there's more to play next. Another dream which would benefit greatly from online multiplayer. Fields of Battle 2 is a handy workaround of the Battlefield name, and as predicted it plays very similar, albeit on a much smaller scale. You have the option of operating a tank, or piloting a jet or attack helicopter. The enemy AI is sufficient enough, but as I said it would benefit greatly if online multiplayer was in place. A good showcase of combat vehicles nonetheless. Silver Slumber was probably one of the first games I played in Dreams which felt like it was trying to achieve the full game experience. Not necessarily due to play length, but because it was ambitious enough to try with various features. It includes a combat system which evolves over time, with the inclusion of additional weapons and some basic puzzle elements. This is wrapped together in a little tale which keeps you interested enough to see it through. It's not without its rough edges, but I can appreciate the effort here. Our list wouldn't be fulfilled until we had at least one game we could say, it's just like Dark Souls. Akaone plays closer to Sekiro, with a focus on parrying and your bladed weapon. The environments and level design are pretty simple and straightforward. Kill a few enemies then move on to the next arena. 
but what makes it special is that it controls so responsively. The weight of the attacks were really impressive and if used in an expanded game it would turn a lot of heads. I'm not a great fan of racing games, having only really had an interest in Burnout, Motorstorm and briefly Dirt, but I felt the need to mention Rally 2020 as regardless of my preferences it's probably the best representation of a driving simulator in Dreams. It's really difficult to get car handling right, many professional games get it wrong, but this nails a great balance between proper simulation with an arcade touch. That includes all of the original creations on the list, but now I wanted to take a quick look at some copyrighted games which managed to impress. Fallout 4 has incredible graphics, and a real attention to detail from the enemies, quests, right down to the Pip-Boy device itself. A game this detailed had some frame issues on PS4, but played on a PS5 eradicates the issue. Donkey Kong! Sorry, Konky Dong, I'll let you work out my joke for yourself, replicates the classic Donkey Kong 64. Another 64 game includes a nicely designed and realised manual game in Super Mario Legend. The final game based on an existing franchise includes a handful of Call of Duty zombie maps which actually play extremely well. All of the features you expect are included and you could easily spend a lot of time working your way through the increasing waves just as in the real game. These were just a small handful of games that impressed me in Dreams in 2020. There are of course many more to discover so give them a try, explore the Dreamiverse and have fun. Which games impressed you the most? What games would you add to your own list? Let's discuss down in the comments below and subscribe if you're new here. We are all about creating inspiring video games and animations to unleash your imagination, so you can realise your own creative dreams and share those with the world. If you'd like to support us on our quest to provide you with the very best inspiring content, consider becoming a channel member by clicking on the join button below which comes with additional exclusive perks such as early access to our demos, behind the scenes content, your name in the credits, along with custom channel badges and emojis. You can also explore our Patreon page or our Teespring store if you'd like to get your hands on some cool new merch. All links can be found in the description below. Thank you. Would you like to see even more inspiring content? Click on one of our videos on your screen now. You can also subscribe by clicking on our little red imp. See you in the next Dreams video.